So this is the GCSE OCR 21st century chemistry paper, the high tier. Uh, all the details you need to know are on the front here. We are looking at question 3. Figure 3.1 shows the displayed formula of ethene. So this is ethene. Uh, the ending is ene, which means that it's an alkene. Okay? Ethene has some reactions that are different from those of ethane. Okay, this is an alkane. These reactions are caused by its functional group. Put a ring around the functional group of ethene. The functional group is this carbon-carbon double bond. Okay, this is what makes it an alkene when it has a double bond. Um, a functional group is basically the set of atoms inside a molecule that takes part in uh, its chemical reactions. It gives it its chemical properties. Okay, so in alkenes, or specifically ethene, um, it's the carbon-carbon double bond. Question 1, 3b. One mole of ethene contains 6.0 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules. So that's a big number. Okay, so it's got 6 with 23 zeros. That's how many molecules of ethene there are in one mole. How many hydrogen atoms are there in one mole of ethene? So in each molecule, there are four hydrogen atoms. So we've got this number of molecules of ethene, but in each one, we have 4. So we multiply this number by 4. Because this is the number of molecules we have and in each one of them we have 4 hydrogen atoms. And when we do that we get 24 times 10 to the power of 23. But the answer is here. Uh, what they've done is they've put it into standard form. So they've divided this by 10 because 24 is too big. This number has to be between 1 and 10 but less than 10. So um, They've divided 24 by 10 to get 2.4, but this number changes now because they've divided it by 10. It goes up to 24. Pass I. Ethene reacts with substance D to give the compound shown in figure 3.2. Name substance D. So ethene is what we had before, carbon-carbon double bond, and then we've got hydrogen here, uh, bonded to hydrogen there. Okay, so this is ethene. This reacts with substance D to give that. So it's asking what is that substance that it reacts with. Okay, So it's, it's important to read questions carefully because it's not asking you to name this compound, it's asking you to name the substance D that it reacts with. So what has happened here is a reaction called bromination. The carbon-carbon double bond has actually opened up to accept one bromine here and one bromine there. Okay, so there's no longer a double bond here, it's just a single bond. The electrons that were there are now used to bond to bromine here. So that substance it's reacted with is bromine. Last part, CII. Ethene also reacts with hydrogen. Okay, so when it reacts with bromine, it's called bromination. When it reacts with hydrogen, it's called hydrogenation. Again, it's not asking you to name it, but I'm just uh, telling you as a side note. This draw the displayed formula of the compound formed. So instead of adding bromine bromine here, we're adding H and H. So we would get the two carbon atoms uh, and all the hydrogen atoms that were there before, but we've got instead of a double bond here, that double bond opens up and accepts hydrogen atoms. Okay, And obviously it doesn't ask you to name it, but this is actually ethane. Okay, the name ending has changed to ane because it's an alkane. Um, it doesn't have; it no longer has a carbon-carbon double bond. When it has a carbon-carbon double bond, it's called uh, ethene because it's an alkene.